Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks me for clicking on the video. So we're going to talk about Zymax, Zymax the company. Um, so back in 2018, I bought my pad. I got one of the custom made pads. So here it is. It's got the red skin with the black rims, the brass tension rods and the white base. Very cool piece of kit, premium pad. Uh, I was very happy with it and I did a review on it. Now the review that I did was basically explaining the good points and the bad points of the pad and also the reason why you probably clicked on this video, the waiting time. They're notorious for extremely long waiting times. For instance, for my one, uh, I ordered mine in the beginning of January with the hope and the promise that it would be finished by end of March, but I didn't get it shipped to me until May. And of course I talked about the customer service as well, um, which I found fine. I questioned uh, why I was waiting so long for my pad and I got an answer from them. So there was no real issue for me. I didn't mind because it was a custom made pad. But like I was saying, after a while and the video got a good few views, I was really taken back about how many negative comments there were in the comment section, not about the video, but about the company, the, like the company itself. So we'll just have a look there. It says, beware, this product looks cool, but it's a horribly run company. Took over three months for mine to arrive. In fairness, that's three months is very okay. But unfortunately, uh, what's worse, the drum pad was sent to me. Uh, basically, this gentleman didn't get the correct one. And uh, he, he was, he, he claims that it was terrible customer service he received and that he's forced to dispute the charge now with his credit card company. I ordered my pad the 4th of May. This year, it's now December 21st. Like, how long does it take to make a pad? That's what this person says. Another person claiming that it took 18 months to get their pad. That is not okay. Um, people also just giving out in general about the customer service. So I think in the last three months it got particularly bad and people were saying that the company were now switching off all comments on social media because I did notice when I was uh, following them on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Brent Drum Jones, um, that all comments had been turned off because majority of the comments were giving out about the company saying, where is my pad? How come nobody's getting back to my email? Blah, 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 and really going to town on them. Uh, so I decided I was gonna email the company and just give them a chance to explain themselves. So I did, and the email is as, as follows. Hey, I'm emailing you a question regarding customer service. I ordered my custom pad and have been loving it ever since I received it in 2018. So much so that I did an honest review singing the company's praises and talking about the good and bad points about the build quality. I was shocked about how many comments were negative about the company saying that there was no response from anyone in customer service and that all the comments have been turned off on social media. Would anybody like to comment or do an interview to tell people the reason why? Tell your side of the story. I maintain that you were a small business and that's why shipping may take a while, but it's well worth the wait. But I didn't know what to say about customer service. You can view the video to see what I'm talking about. Uh, now, this is the important part of the email that I sent him. The reason why I'm sending you this is it was the majority of the opinion of the viewers to badmouth and ridicule the company. Please let me know what you think. Thanks a for your time. So they replied back. So here it is. Hi Brendan, absolutely. The gist is that the customer very, and I mean very often, confuses delayed shipping times with bad customer service. They believe that because they do not have their product in hand, the customer service must be bad. This is not at all the case. The customer service is great. I work day in, day out, doing emails, complaints, crunching things out, constantly trying my best to push out all orders. I am only one person and only one person does my job. Customers very often seem to confuse not having their product with not being helped out. This is absolutely never the case. The customer service is not bad. I am always ready and willing to help customers out. I do everything I can to help out all customers, but I am only one person and I don't own or run this company. I can only do so much, but I do everything I can. I am only one person that has to deal with thousands of people daily and the only one that runs the entire customer service at Zymax. I take extreme pride in what I do and I will absolutely never let someone drag down customer service here when that is never going to be the case as much as customers would like to try and complain about it, they are always helped out and provided with every bit, sorry, and provided with very, with every, that's what she means, with every bit of information possible. 
Not having your product in hand due to some delays is never bad customer service. Bad customer service would be ignoring the customers, not providing them with information, getting angry at customers, etc. That will never be our company. I apologize to customers that do not have their product, do, that do not yet have their product, but they, they have absolutely never been treated with quote unquote, horrible customer service. I do my job very well. So there you go. So like I said, I didn't have a problem. I didn't mind waiting the extra time, even though they specified a certain time, it wasn't there on that time. But people were very annoyed and nothing good came from this email. I mean, we're not told anything from it. That's the weird thing. And isn't that part of the customer service? We're, we're, we're told nothing about waiting times. We're told, we're told the re not the reason why. We, we're, all we're told is that, that sometimes customers don't get their product and that um, customers are maybe some way wrong, that customers don't understand what good customer service is, and that the m main bulk of this is that the customer service representative is the hardest working person in the world, clearly from everything she says, and that very much, she's very frustrated and very angry. Um, exclamation marks, big capitals, um, you know, it, it, just the way it's worded, no, no, um, there's not even a goodbye or anything. <laughs> At the end, it's just, I do my job very well. It's, it's, it's on the defense all the time. And I think a very big, uh, important part of, of the email, and this is speculation, is that uh, the line, I don't, oh, I don't own nor run this company. That speaks volumes. And again, we don't have any answers of why, you know, shipping times take ages. Um, but it seems to me that there's a massive divide in the company. That there's frustration here from to, from this the, this um, customer service representative as they got back to me and all I was doing was asking them to you know give their two cents. Um, there's a divide in the company where she's not happy. You know th that person seems to blame customer service. Customer service seems to blame that person, and so at the end of the day, nobody really wins. The company doesn't win. The customer doesn't win. Nobody wins. Um, which is really, it's, it's, it's quite sad. I think it's just not a very well-run company. And I think that's speculation, that's just my opinion. But from that email, you know, you could have just made it so much easier in an email, or, or it, it could have been just so much better. I could pull one at the top of my head. Um, Hi, Brendan, how's it going? Yeah, unfortunately, there are delayed times when we get the, we try and get the product out there. Unfortunately, we're a very small run company. Uh, but we pride ourselves on premium products and we want to make sure that the product is perfect before it goes out and that means sometimes that orders go from behind go left behind uh, right now we're building up a framework to get orders back uh, out to people way faster and so that you know waiting times are are are, are cut down but just bear with us and we're eventually going to get there. Something, thanks a million for your interest in Zymox, keep up the good work, thanks a million for the video. You know, there's a million and one things that could have been said that could have been 10 times better than that email. So I, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's, um, it's silly. It's silly and, it, and it, 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 that personally wasn't a great customer service email to, to, to send. But anyway, please let me know your experience of the company. I wish I had a better answer of why your plan hasn't arrived because that's probably why you clicked on this video or why nobody's answering your emails. Unfortunately, I don't know. We know that somebody is overworked and very tired, but <laughs> uh, we will see. Please let me know your, your, uh, your, your comments uh, in the comment section and, and tell me your experience with them. Hit a like, please hit a like, and make sure you subscribe for more of this kind of video. I don't really do these kind of often, but check out my stuff that I have in my other videos and you can see my content. Anyway, guys, take it easy. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye. If you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.